Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor and Motion page tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate this really cool line drawing animation when you scroll down the page. So as you can see, when you start to scroll down this page right here, this little animation is going down with you as you scroll. So we had a uh, YouTube subscriber reach out to us and ask if we could recreate this effect. And after some trial and error, I was able to replicate this using uh, Elementor Pro in this case, and I'm gonna be using a motion page right here. This effect called Draw SVG was recently added to motion page, which is why I wanted to make this tutorial. And Draw SVG is doing exactly what you think it's gonna do. It's gonna draw an SVG as you scroll or you know do some sort of other interaction. This is just one really long stroke and it's just kind of drawing it as, in this case, as you scroll. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I was able to pull off that same exact effect on this page right here. So you're gonna notice when I scroll right here, this line is just going behind different elements. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you can see it's gonna go behind this call to action section and it's gonna keep going as you scroll. And as a little added bonus, I'll show you how I was able to change the color of it as you scroll as well. So it's kind of like a little extra bonus. And we just have it end right here. And if you scroll back up, it's gonna go in reverse. You can use the timestamps below to jump in between the different sections of this video. The first section is, I'm gonna show you how I was able to create that little path right here inside Illustrator and grab that SVG code. Then I'm gonna show you how to add that SVG inside Elementor Pro and how to position it right here and have it kind of stick. So when the user scrolls, it will kind of just stay in one spot. Then I'm gonna jump into motion page and show you how you set up this effect. And like I said, at the end of this video, I'm gonna also show you a bonus on how to change the color of this as you scroll down. This is gonna be a little more of an advanced tutorial, so it's gonna help if you already understand how SVGs work and a good understanding of the tool motion page. Now, if you are new to motion page, I did create this overview video right here, which kind of goes over the tool, what it can do and some of its limitations. I'll leave a link to this page in the description below. And you'll also see a card up here if you just want to jump into that video. So now let's just jump into Illustrator. The first thing we need to do is jump into a program like Illustrator and create that stroke. So I did some measurements on that website I showed you earlier and we're at about 200 pixels wide, and then you want it to be pretty tall. So in this case, in this example, I'm just doing like 3000 pixels. So we have a width of 200, height of 3000. So once you do that, you just hit create. I'm gonna be using the pen tool and just create a pretty general stroke. So if I go into here, and I'm just gonna have it like start right here. I'll twist it, let's go like this. Just kind of whatever shape you want. And I do recommend going pretty close to the edge if you can. Go over here. And something like that. And then you end it. And I'm just going to hit escape. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you do not have any fills on it. And so what I'm going to do is select the path. And this right here, you want to turn off the fill. And then I'm going to add a stroke. Something like black is good. And then let's go up to like four. So whatever you choose for the stroke here, this is how wide it's gonna be on the website. So something like that could be good. So if I scroll into here, that might be a little bit big. So let me go back down to like four. So that looks good to me. So this is just like I said, generic path. You start here and you go down and that's all you really have to do in Illustrator. What we need to do now is export and grab this SVG code. So if you just go to export, export as, once this pops up, you can just call it whatever, but we're actually not gonna save this file. We're just gonna grab the code. So hit export. And you wanna make sure that the options are just like mine. So you can just keep this at internal, convert to outlines, preserve the images. This stuff really doesn't matter that much, but this button right here is where you wanna click. So hit show code. Once you click that, it's gonna open up whatever your native uh, text editor is. So in this case, I have like Notepad++. It's gonna pull it up in an application like this. And this is what you need to copy into your clipboard right here. So just everything that's in this SVG tag, you can just copy this. So this is your SVG code right here. So now what we can do is pull this into Elementor and we can position it uh, you know, on the page and how we want it. So like I said, just copy this to your clipboard and then we can move on to the next step. 
Here we are on the Elementor page, and the way this works is we need to pull in the HTML widget and paste in that SVG code that you have on your clipboard, and we need to do some absolute positioning. So just follow these steps, and this is how it's going to work. So if you just type in like HTML, and in this case, I want it to start like right around here. So wherever you want the animation to start, it needs to be positioned inside this column or the section. So in this case, I want it like right below this header right here. And as you can see, it's just the HTML widget and just paste in that code that we have in our clipboard. So when you do that, it's going to look really big, but we're going to do some positioning and force it over here. And in order to do that, you click on advanced and underneath width, you could just type in custom or hit custom. The width is, if you remember, in my case, it was 200 pixels. So just type in 200. So now we're forcing the width to 200 pixels. The next thing is we need to, under position, click absolute. So now that's going to put it inside here. And as you can see, everything else got pulled back up. So it's no longer forcing the page to go all the way to the bottom and then show this stuff. And then all you need to do from here is, in my case, I have it on the right. So you can do the horizontal on the right. So it's going to start, it's going to force it to the right of your uh, column right here. And then what you do is you just start to manually move this stuff around. So in this case, I want it to be like around here. And then vertical, you want to keep this at top. You can offset it to be right around here. Maybe pull it in a little bit more. And that's good to go right there. And then the next step is um, go to your Z index and just add like a one. So this Z index is going to be a one. So now you're going to notice that this um, column right here has a higher Z index. I put it at like 20. So now anywhere that you want this line to go behind, you can go and just change the Z index of these different sections or columns or whatever it is. So in this case, um, I have this whole thing at 20, I believe. I'm going to change that to 20 just so it sticks. And then we can have it go above. So you can see your line is going to go all the way down to like right here. So that looks good. Uh, of course, nothing's going to you know, animate as you go because we have to do all of that in the motion page. But that's all we have to do inside Elementor. So just update that page. And now we're going to jump into motion page and actually start to add that effect. So here we are in motion page. So I'm going to click this button, create new timeline. Now I'm going to show you step by step on how to create this effect. So let's call this draw SVG scroll just so it's the same as the page. You go into here, type in the page name, which is draw SVG. That should load up this page in a second. And yep, you can see that's pulling it in correctly. So the first thing we need to do, I'm just going to go down here and select all the options in order to get this to work. First thing is we need to click on scroll trigger. We need to lock that to the scroll bar, remove the delay. So there should be no delay. Uh, you can keep these uh, by default, which is the enter scroll element, keep element fully visible. Everything looks good here. So in most cases, you probably want to keep the start viewport and the end viewport at the same. So just wherever you think it visually looks good to kind of start it. So I think right around, let's do like 30% and then I'm going to do 30% right here. So now it's going to start and end at the same time. And if I scroll down to here, this is going to be one of the most important things is the animation selector. You need to click this button right here. And what this is going to do is this tool is really cool. It will select any elements on the page. So in this case, we want to select this right here. So when you click that, you're going to see this little thing right here. This is the most important thing. You want to make sure you have this correct. So what it's doing is it's pulling in um, from Illustrator. We just called it layer one. And then you need to click this button right here where it says path. Like I said, if you don't, if you don't see this, uh, this means that the SVG code is not correct or something like that. You're going to want to make sure that it says path. And when you click that, you now selected this stroke. So of course, nothing's going to happen because we need to change some of the effects over here. And the first thing we need to do is go underneath visual and click where it says animate SVG. And then you just want to click this button right here. It says draw SVG strokes. And as you can see, when you click that, you can just leave this by default and everything is going to work correctly. So now when you start to scroll down the page, you're going to notice that it doesn't quite stick to the line. And that's because there's one setting that needs to be clicked off. 
and that's right down here this ease button right here this is really important if you don't change this off it's not going to align correctly you're going to want to change that to none because i think what that's doing is it's easing the animation and it's kind of throwing it off because it's such a tall animation so now you're going to see when you start to scroll down it's going to be hugging this line right here and if you just keep scrolling it will go right there it stays pretty close to the line and as you can see will end right there now like i said you can go up here and if you want it to have like a little bit of a different type of effect where the line we have a little more leeway or whatever it may be. You can start to play around with these um, start and end points. So if we go back up to the top, you're going to see it's going to start right there. Kind of hug this line. And you can see it's going to kind of go all the way. It's going to eventually hit the end where it says the end viewport. It will like reach it right there. See that? So yeah, just play around with the effects and these different values because of course your line is going to be different than what I have, but this is like a really good starting point is just kind of go up and down on the page a few times, make sure everything is good. And that's it. If you hit save now, you go to the front end of your website, this effect's going to be pulled in automatically. So now if you hit refresh on the front end of that website, here we are, you can see that it's going to change as you scroll down. It's going behind that one in front. It's going to go behind that call to action so this is exactly the same effect as this website right here which is really cool this effect is uh it's really powerful if you think about it because what you're doing is you're forcing the user to kind of look at different things so in this case they wanted you to maybe look at the house or something so you can get really creative with a a thing like this where it's animated when you scroll down you can go to different call to actions but yeah, this was just a simple example. I'm just kind of having it go all the way down the page and we'll stop right there. And that's all the settings you need in motion page to pull this effect off. Now I'm going to show you how you can change the color of it while it's scrolling down. To change the color while it's scrolling, you just need to change a few different options in here. So the first thing is you want to make sure that you're on the from animation right here. And you see right here it says stroke color. Click that. So let's start with like a red. And now you're going to notice that it's red, but when you start to scroll down, you're going to notice that it's going to start to lose its opacity and then just kind of go into black. So what you need to do is change the two animation stroke color. So if you click this button right here, it says two, go down into animate SVG stroke color. Let's change that to a blue. And now if you scroll, you're going to notice nothing happens. And that's because we need to also include the draw SVG strokes right here. And what you need to do is a few different settings. The first thing you need to do is go back into the from and click this button right here and make sure that it's at 0%, 0% and go back into the two animation. And it's easier if you just click this button right here where you could force in the values. And you're going to want to make sure this is 0%. And then this one says 100%. So now when you put that in, you're going to see it comes back. And if you start to scroll down, you'll notice that it goes off the page. And that's, again, the setting right here. You're going to want to make sure that the ease on the two animation is set to none as well. Yeah, this took me a little bit uh, to realize that that's what was causing the issue. And I had to reach out to their support. They were really helpful. And that was the one thing that will throw this whole effect off. Like I said, ease is really important. Make sure you have that at none. And that's it. Now you're going to notice that when you scroll down, it's going to slowly change into a blue color, which is really cool. It's going to go in between all the different colors. So it's got like the purple and then it's kind of going into the blue. So that's how you animate while it's scrolling and change the color. This is a really cool effect. Now we could just click save right here and let's test it on the front end of the website. Make sure everything functions correctly. So now when you start to scroll, it will start from red. And as you can see, when you scroll down, it's going to go to that blue color eventually. So once you get down to the bottom, it's going to be blue. That's a really cool effect. I like this. And just like a lot of different things in web design, sometimes you look at uh, website examples like this and you think it's going to be an easy effect, but this is definitely not an easy effect. This is more of an advanced type of effect. But once you understand how to use motion page, an effect like this can be pulled off pretty easily. 
And that's it for this tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. This is Mark from Wiki Design.